criminal law it's about um, the studying of crimes and criminal liability. So basically the entire subject you go through different topics and you look at it through the lens of um, two elements, so the actus reus and the mens rea. You manage to cover a wide range of topics in criminal law, such as murder, manslaughter, uh, sexual assault, property offences. So you can see the focus really is on substantive criminal law, but you also touch on aspects of procedural criminal law. The best thing about the subject was just the nature of the content. Um, it's really interesting um, to read about the different cases and um, the different facts of each case. Um, in murder especially, which is what we were predominantly looking at at the beginning of the semester. It, it really makes you think about how morality interacts with the law and because the subject is such an integral part of society, uh, an understanding of the subject really gives you an insight into how our society functions as a whole. I'd say the most challenging thing would be um, the way that you are trying to develop an argument. Just because you're only supposed to argue in within the constraints of the facts that you're given. Because it's one of the more interesting subjects, you find you can get through the workload a lot more efficiently and it doesn't seem like you have to spend the whole day slaving over it. Each topic builds on one another, so if you have some fundamental misunderstanding of one of the earlier topics, you might struggle a bit when you come to the later, more complicated topics. I found the most helpful thing when I first started at UTS was um, going on to all the different campus tours and things that are available at orientation, just to familiarise yourself in this environment. Because the course is structured into two tutorials uh, in moderately sized classes, uh, you really don't need to rely on online resources so much. You can, If you have any questions, you can really just uh, pose them in class and discuss them with other students and the lecturer. But as a back backup, you always have the online discussion boards where you can post your question and uh, someone will usually reply to it within a few days. And you can always email the lecturer and in my experience they've always been very quick to reply and their answers have been very thorough. I'd advise a student studying this subject to go into it, just tr try and be as prepared as you can. Um, I think criminal law is one of those subjects where students may have a little bit more exposure to it before law school, so you'd see it on the news or you'd see it on TV and you'd see it in movies and you might have some preconceptions about it but you're being taught how to analyse from a legal perspective so just keep that in mind. The best piece of advice I would give to a new student studying at UTS is to stay on top of your notes, make sure you don't isolate yourself, the best thing is to socialise and make friends with your peers. What I'd do differently if I was starting again at UTS, um, I think I'd be a little bit more open-minded, um, just being, when I, when I first started uni I would just come straight from high school so just being able to step out of your comfort zone and you know make new friends and be really involve yourself at uni is what I try and do differently. If I started my degree at UTS again, uh, I would definitely try to get involved with some of the activities offered by the Law Student Society a bit more, such as mooting, client interviewing, uh, negotiation, uh, and I would definitely keep up with my notes from day one. I didn't start doing my notes until several months in literally a week before, before mid-semester exams and I really felt the last minute panic. But I think the most important thing is just to relax and enjoy it. I mean, you don't want to have to dread going to university every day of the week. So, and you're going to be here for the next several years, so you may as well enjoy it while you're here.